Recently, some top Tesla investors test drove the Model Y built from Tesla Giga Berlin on the German freeway, on the German Autobahn. After taking the Tesla freeway to test drive on a freeway, they said the Model Y from the local Giga Berlin factory is built like a German premium car, and they said that they're now even a luxury car. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and like this video if you find the information helpful. So this week, some several analysts were invited by Tesla to visit Giga Berlin factory and had the opportunity to test drove one of the Model Y performance vehicles built at Giga Berlin. I reported in details yesterday, but in today's report, I'm going to tell you that they also test drove the Model Y on a German Autobahn, on the German highway, freeway, and what they said. So Pierre Ferragu from New Street Research, whose questions are regularly admitted and and answered in telephone conversations by Tesla, informed about this in advance. Ferragu himself was initially impressed by the quality of the German Model Y built at Giga Berlin. Other professional observers of Tesla shares described their impressions of the factory in short studies for customers. I reported about some of them, but didn't say much about Pierre Ferragu's ideas. So they think that die casting is the highlight of Giga Berlin. After the freeway test drive on Wednesday, Tesla's top investor advisor Martin Vieja reported on Twitter about a conversation with Pierre Ferragu. The Model Y from the local factory is built like a German premium car, the analyst said, referring to the Model Y built at Gigafactory Berlin. According to Vieja, that's actually it was his answer. Ferrago responded by saying he was expecting premium Teslas, but in fact, they are now even luxury cars. A financial study of Ferrago's Tesla visit is expected to come later, but other analysts have already made initial assessments. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video to stay in touch because once Ferrago's financial analysis about uh, Giga Berlin comes out, I'm going to report it so you know, friends. So a two-page comment from the investment bank Jeffries found its way onto Twitter thanks to Gary Block, although some of it sounds like a misunderstanding, reports the Tesla market. German Tesla publication. Production in the German Giga Berlin factory in the new factory and the new factory in Texas will cost significantly less than Fremont, uh, it said, uh, the, the Jeffries analysis. A current rate of 1,000 model Ys per week in Germany is reported, but as I have reported a couple of days ago, it looks like German Giga Berlin factory has reached almost 2,000 vehicles per week. The last number I reported at Torque News YouTube channel was 1,800 to 1,900 vehicles per week. Tesla had already reported that this mark had been reached in June, the 1,000 vehicle per week. And currently, uh, current information, like I said, circles is not uh, a uniform. People have different ideas, but speaks of significantly higher production at Tesla in Grünheide. At least uh, one individual said, which I reported a couple of days ago, like I said, a 1,800 to 1,900 units. According to Jeffrey's analysts, Body construction and final assembly in German Gigafactory are relatively conventional. The higher productivity is mainly uh, due to less complexity and fewer variants of the Model Y. You know, a German Giga Berlin, I think they're building only one or two models of one. There, uh, there are only fewer variants of the Model Y, and thanks to the die casting machine, everything is coming, uh, it is less complex, and it's going to affect in a positive way the cost of building the Model Y vehicles. So according to Jeffries, a highlight of the production at the large castings, which replace many smaller elements than have been assemble giga castings the giga presses are the highlight of the production however these are only compatible with structural batteries that tesla does not yet have that's only half correct because even with conventional construction the rare frame elements of the model y comes in one piece from the giga presses the representatives of the bank ubs seem to have listened better and have better understanding during the visit to the electric car company by Tesla at Giga Berlin. The factory is apparently making progress toward its goal of 
5,000 Model Y vehicles per week, according to Twitter experts from its com commentary on the visit. Parts of the Gigafactory are even ready for 10,000 vehicles per week, writes UBS without details. That means certain departments of Giga Berlin are already have already the capacity to build 10,000 vehicles per week, but some others are not. I think the main issue here is to have the last Giga Press installed. I think they need eight of them there and also to hire more people. UBS correctly writes that the rare frame element of the Model Y is already created in this way and through Giga Casting and that the front should follow when supporting battery packs are available for the middle part. According to Tesla, it should be ready by the end of this year with 4680 batteries from its own production on site. However, there is already one Model Y with EU type approved LFP battery pack by BYD, which is described as structural in the supporting documentation i think it must have been very fun right you know friends to take the model y built at giga berlin and drive it on the german autobahn when i think uh, where i think there is no speed limit right if you are in germany please let me know is there a speed limit on autobahn and how is the safety if there is no speed limit anyway so things at giga berlin are going really well and giving some uh, real fruits and affecting the brandenburg in many ways in fact brandenburg's economic minister jörg steinbach astonished tesla Giga Berlin supporter said the speed of Tesla settlement is a model for construction and for example the of LNG terminals. He said Tesla has several effects already on Brandenburg and in Germany ref referring how Tesla built the Giga Berlin. He said on the one hand the plant is now the largest industrial employment in Brandenburg and it is planned that Tesla will also become the largest training company. The effect that is achieved is immense for the regional economy potential investors worldwide now have brandenburg on the map indeed top tesla investors have visited there toured the company took the model y to a test drive and now they are already writing their opinions on that and uh, steinbach noticed that and says look you know worldwide investors from worldwide potential investors are now uh, looking at brandenburg and have the brandenburg on the map in the meantime existing companies are desperately looking for employees um, and uh, tesla is looking for skilled workers to increase and Brandenburg's uh, economic minister Jörg Steinbach says as far as he knows the increase in the number of employees at Tesla Giga Berlin is on schedule. This is remarkable because on the one hand it shows that the company is gaining skilled workers who do not come from Brandenburg alone but are recruited internationally. This makes it clear what affects the settlement of large international company has on the region. In, in, in this case that's uh, Brandenburg. A mix of specialists from many different countries work at Tesla Giga Berlin. Such a structure is the future and it means that we have to be a skilled immigration country, he said, speaking as uh, referring to Germany. Well, friends, let me know what you think about Giga Berlin's progress, the Giga Berlin's effect on Brandenburg, and also taking the Model Y built at Giga Berlin on the Autobahn. This is Armin Haryan from Torquenews.com. Please like this video. You will help that way to put this video in front of more people on Google and YouTube and also ring the bell after you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage that I'm going to bring you today. Have a great day. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. See you soon in our next report.